Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do the timing on the 2.4 liter Mighty Max engines the easy way, uh, the quick way. So first off, you want to start with the crank. The crank has a notch on it right here on this plate. And you need this notch to line up with this little arrow here. Okay, so start with your crank, top dead center. Then you want to do the oil pump oil pump has a notch too in it. You want to match it up to this little arrow. Alright, it's top dead center. Both of those are set. On your balance shaft, same thing. This arrow just needs to go straight to the passenger side. There's usually a notch in here, but this one's broken. So, just don't worry about that. Just straight across 90 degrees from top down. And you'll get it. You turn this to adjust it, just add tension, just enough. And you're good to go. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that this key here is uh, all the way over. Loosen this one just a tad. Loosen. Move it over. Lock it in. And you're good. When you're putting the belt back on, you want that all the way over. When you get it set, just un loosen it and it'll pop right back into place. Don't pry tension. Don't give it. Just let it, let it have its tension that it's going to get. And just tighten it down. Tighten it down. And you're good. On the cam, usually this key is going to be facing up. Sometimes they're offset depending on the year and if it was came off a different engine. But what you want to look for is this notch here. Sometimes they're painted, sometimes they're not. Just kind of got to look for yours. But it will have a, an indention in it. Alright. And you want it to match up with this notch here inside the head. Okay. There is a, a notch in there. You want this to line up to this. This one's obviously slightly off. This head's an old head. It's been shaved down too many times. I need to get this head rewelded to put some more surface material on there. But it'll still run. And it actually runs pretty decent. Um, but yeah, you want this as close to that notch as possible. Looking at it straight ahead. Okay? So that is off quite a few degrees. And it won't run as well as it could. But it needs to be up just a little bit. But other than that, this engine is on time. Second is distributor. I know a lot of guys are having trouble with these distributors trying to find the information. I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos and these guys don't know what they're talking about half the time. So, on your cap, really simple. So when the cap's on there, it's going to be the bottom one. The bottom one, right connected here to the clip. That's number one. The firing order is one, three, four, two, clockwise. One, three, four, two. All right, that's your firing order. Now, when trying to get top dead center, if you're trying to put this all together, that's where you want your rotor. Okay, so in your your rotor on on the on the distributor, think of this as like a dial. You know, um, for top dead center, advanced, retarded. This is where it's going to want to sit. So this is actually indented here. You want it right in here on this side, on the front side of the notch. And you want it as centered as possible. Okay? And then from here, once it's set, you can adjust it to get the proper ignition timing. This is how I set all my motors. See how it moves just enough? Advanced retard just to get that proper angle. You might be able to get it a little closer. you trying to get that key to catch because every time you pull it out, it moves. And see how it goes way off. So you have to pull it out again, move it over, and it goes back. So what you want to do is move it up to about here. All right. Remember, it's got to be on that stud. And pop it and see. It still moves way too much. So, you want to crank this bad boy over about here. And it'll lock right in place every time. And that's right where you want it. Okay? So, it is a little off more because this isn't where it should be. But I have ran this engine before. I took it apart, refreshed it, and it did run really well. So that's where you want your timing. 
you want distributor and rotor down first area here remember one three four two firing order passenger side of the engine notch line up notch line up to the arrow notch line up to the arrow passenger side 90 degrees from top and that's how you do your timing it's that easy if you have any questions message me and I'll go ahead and put something together for y'all make it a little easier if that wasn't enough but that is the easiest way to do it I've done it multiple times that's exactly how that one's timings run so have any more questions just let me know I just broke a bulb all right hope this helps y'all need pictures I'll send some pictures too